I have an update now on my garlic peeler. Now this is a uh, garlic peeler 2.0. The original one had this little hole a little closer to the bottom. Uh, it was also just a regular yogurt container, while this one is a takeout food container. It's clear so you can see what's going on. And then um, this is the lid, my 3.0, or third iteration. Uh, the first one had a, a, a larger hole, and um, some of the garlic cloves would get tossed out. So I put some larger holes in kind of this pattern, but uh, they were too close to the edge, and they still fell out, flew out. So now uh, this actually works better. Uh, it's got these, uh, these smaller holes, and they're farther away, farther away from the edge. Uh, inside here, we just have some cloves that I've broken apart. Uh, this is like six heads, uh, heads of garlic. And I weighed this at about, I think it's like seven ounces of, uh, of garlic cloves. So close that up. And then I have an com air compressor. And uh, just make sure the pressure's turned all the way up. There we go. And as you can see, it's got a standard little blower nozzle, but what I've done here is glued in this little tip. Let's see if it can focus on that. It doesn't really want to focus. Anyways, this this is a, this little metal tip helps concentrate the um, there a little further, and so uh, we'll see how long it takes to uh, to peel this. So, if we open this up, I would say what you see is that, oh, I don't know, that's, the, that, that's more than the, more than, that's the majority, I'd say probably two-thirds, if not three-fourths are peeled. A lot of these little uh, pieces are in here. Oops, just dropped a clove. So, uh, the easiest thing, of course, is to do it for about 30, 40 seconds. Take some out, take the ones that are completely peeled out, the other ones you leave in, and uh, then go back to peeling. And what I found is that in this case, two pounds, three pounds of garlic take uh, really about 10 minutes now. Really gotten it down to uh, kind of a science. Again, I didn't take out the peel cloves, but you just go back in here and blast it. That's more than enough to start cooking, and like I said, uh, the ones that aren't fully peeled, I just uh, keep them in the fridge until I do the next batch. Thanks for watching.